Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic and welcome back to the channel. If you guys is another Q&A video, I'm going to be answering your Q&A video questions from, I'm looking at my phone here from uh, June 21st, that was my dog in case you heard that, June 21st, uh, you guys asked me a bunch of questions and I got a lot actually, I mean I have over a thousand subs so I hope I get more than one or two, but uh, it's good, so I'm going to try to not butcher your names and yeah, let's go. So the first one, I'm just going straight down uh, the line here, uh, Echo Killshot says, will you get merch? Parentheses, I will buy it. So, uh, yeah, merchandise merch uh, has actually kind of crossed my mind now that I'm getting up there. I don't, in my eyes, I don't personally see that I am that, uh, you know, I don't think I'm that high in subscribers as I would think to get subs. So maybe I'm wrong, who knows, but if, hey, I mean, if you guys would buy it. Um, my other problem would be, I don't know what the heck to put on it because all the things I talk about, franchises, I don't own, you know what I mean? I don't own Star Wars, I don't own Marvel, none of that stuff, Lego, so I don't know what I would do, maybe just my name, or on the back I'd have like the YouTube button, it would say subscribe, I don't know, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments of this video, um, but yeah, merchandise has crossed my mind, and thank you Echo for probably buying it, because uh, maybe I'll do it soon, who knows, but uh, yeah, like I said, it has crossed my mind, I just, I just don't know what to put on it, you know, because some of the stuff is very copyrighted, so I don't really want to you know, sell it publicly and get paid for it, and then be like, you know, you're going to jail, or something weird. But uh, I, I, you know, I did think about it, so who knows, I'll do it soon maybe. Uh, Marlo Owens, he's got some. So he says, since Luca has recently come out, could you possibly make a video of ranking the Pixar movies you've seen from your least favorite to favorite? Now I have seen most of the Pixar movies, I did not see Luca yet, and I also did not see Soul. Uh, right now I'm currently working on a bunch of R-rated DC and Marvel movies, because I'm going to be doing a tribute. Uh, but after that, I'll probably binge all the Pixar films, and then I'll probably make a big collective video on that, so look out for that. Not soon, but in the future, because, you know, it takes a while to watch these movies. One a day, I have college, I have life, but I will get to it. Don't worry, because I want to do that. I want to see Luca, too. Uh, <clears throat> it says, what are your favorite Disney Animation Studio movies? So, Disney Animation Studios is actually a different subsidiary than Disney Pixar, so I'm glad you caught up on that. Uh, I've seen most of them except for Tangled. Um, I really, really, really love Wreck-It Ralph 1 and 2. I really, really, really love Zootopia, and I really, really, really love Big Hero 6. I think those three uh, would probably be... Oh, and Ryan the Last Dragon 2. Ryan the Last Dragon is awesome. So if I were to really choose between those, it'd probably go Big Hero 6, Ryan and the Last Dragon, and then like Wreck-It Ralph 1 or something like that. Um, you know, I, I didn't see Tangled. I'll have to. I have Disney+, Plus. I just didn't get to it. Um, I enjoyed Frozen 2 a lot. I didn't really like Frozen 1, and uh, yeah, I think, I'm, I think that's it, maybe. Um... Top of my head, Zootopia is really good too, so I don't know. They're good though, I really do enjoy them. And then if you had to pick only three of the big movie franchises like Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, Pirates, etc. to watch for the rest of your life, which ones you'd choose? So number one would be Star Wars, hands off the bat. Um, I don't know, uh, probably the MCU. And then I like the DCEU. Ah oh, man, because I like Pirates, I like Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, I like Jurassic Park, World. Uh, shoot, you got me. Uh, I'd probably go with, like I said, Star Wars, MCU, and then maybe, I don't know, Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, something like that. I mean, it's hard, man. It's hard to choose, you know? Like, if, if I can say Ninjago, all right? I, you know, Star Wars, MCU, Ninjago, like uh, the, the season one to ten, I think those first ten seasons. Um, if I can't say Ninjago, I don't know, maybe Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, but good question, because those are hard. I'm not married yet, and I don't have any kids, but that's like asking your favorite kid, you know what I mean? Uh, Alright, Chainsaw Ash says, when the Lego Star Wars game comes out, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, uh, comes out, will you be doing a guide on all gold brick, uh, I think those are kyber bricks, uh, red brick, mini kits, also what's your favorite Lego franchise? So, uh, yeah, so when I will be covering Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga up until release, I will be playing the entire game when it comes out. So yes, I'll be doing free play, I'll be doing story mode, the open world, I'm going to try my best to do 100% the entire game on the channel. Everything. So look forward to that. And then what's your favorite LEGO franchise? Easy Ninjago. I think that the show is easily my favorite show of all time. It's uh, in my top three favorite franchises of all times and uh, of all time. And uh, yeah, I just love, you know, I love LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Marvel, DC, Durant, you know, everything LEGO I love. I think, you know, the girly ones like Friends or Trolls or, you know, stuff like that. Not really my thing. Uh, LEGO City, Undercover, great game, but LEGO City itself, it's kind of boring. Um, but I do have a few things scattered here. Maybe, maybe there's one behind me, I don't know. But uh, I do think that Ninjago is by far my favorite. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got Josh Josh Drake. I keep wanting to say Drake Josh. He says, hey, old franchise. You know I've got some questions. Yeah, man, that's cool. Uh, number one, ever played the Knack series before? It's kind of similar to the Lego games. I have not played Knack. 
Um, I recently just got a PS4 a few years ago, maybe two years ago. Um, but no, I haven't played them. I know what they are, I've seen them, but I have not played Mac. Maybe I should, who knows. Uh, number two, who are your, some of your favorite YouTubers? Now this is, I, this is actually cool, uh, because when I'm not posting or doing anything else in my life, I like to watch YouTube videos. Um, some of, some of the big, big YouTubers, which I'm not gonna name names just for the sake of this specific thing, I don't watch because I feel like they're kind of just about the numbers and they don't really put their effort in, but YouTubers that I watch a lot, I kinda watch Merc Music sometimes, um, I don't watch him anymore because of Cold War, and I don't play Cold War, but I used to watch him, you know, I'll watch his older ones. Um, Corridor Crew, those guys are badass. They kind of talk about the CGI in, in some of my favorite films and TV shows. Uh, I used to watch Mess Yourself. He's kind of funny. I'll watch him from time to time. Um, Gaming Lemon, he's pretty funny. I think Gaming Lemon's really cool. He, he doesn't really post much. Uh, the Russian Badger. Uh, trying to think of some other ones. There's a few others, maybe, uh, shoot. Uh, that's probably it. That's just probably it, if I'm going to be honest. There's not a whole lot I watch. There's a lot of YouTubers that are really popular that I just don't think are good. Um, because, again, big numbers does not mean quality. You know, because, again, you can buy subs. You can, you know, they, they've been starting, like, PewDiePie has, like, 70 effing billion. I've never subscribed to him. I never will. I don't like what he does. But, uh, you know, he's been doing that for a while. You know what I mean? Same with these other guys. So I think out of those that I mentioned are probably my favorite. Uh, what's your advice on getting angry or when you're not in a good mood, etc.? So when I'm angry from a video game or from life, uh, I don't really rage quit. Uh, I have from time to time when I was a little younger, but I don't really do that anymore. Um, you know, I'll swear, but I won't, like, beat things up or throw the chair or throw my controller or break my TV like some of these freaking crazy people do. Uh, but, you know, when, when you're getting angry in general, I do like to kind of just think about the, the situation that you're in and uh, just kind of think about it. Think about why you're angry. Take a break if you want to. Come back to it. Um, you know, nothing nothing too crazy. I think that, you know, beating people up and, and doing these horrible things is not good. I think if you're going to use your anger, you know, get a punching bag or do tennis or play sports or exercise, something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would do. Um, ever thought about doing polls on your channel? Since you're above 1K, you can do that now. I actually have. I have two polls up. I did one about tributes, uh, one about something else. So, uh, yeah, go check that out. I'm going to try to do, if I can remember, I'm going to try to be doing a poll every single day. So we'll see how that goes. But no, I'm freaking pumped because I went to upload and uh, it said, you know, upload a video. And then it said, do poll. I was like, oh, damn, I can do polls now? You know, because I see polls on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's cool. How do you do that? And, uh, you know, now I can do it. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing those. And uh, very proud of my channel. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Keep going strong. Stay safe. Thank you, Josh Drake. It's hard to say. Uh, your contribution. And, yeah, you're a good YouTube buddy. So thanks a lot. You're awesome. Uh, I'm going to try to not F your name up, Ubito Uchiha, Ubito Uchiha, I don't know, I tried. Um, what would your force powers be and lightsaber colors be if you were a Jedi or a Sith? So my force powers would probably be force push, force pull, and maybe a double jump. I don't think super speed is needed, uh, astral projection, projection like what Luke does in The Last Jedi, I don't need that so I'll probably die. Uh, just the normal stuff, and then lightsaber, I'd probably be a Jedi. Um, and then lightsaber color, I'd probably go green or blue, something like that. Uh, and then would it be a single blade, a double blade, dual wield? I'd probably either do a single blade uh, or like a cross guard, like Kylo Ren or the guys in the High Republic, or like I think Ezra had it in, in Rebels. I wouldn't do a freaking uh, double blade because I'd, I'd, you know, cut my arm off. But uh, you know that wouldn't be nice. Uh, Tyler Prime, two part question. Uh, one, why does YouTube hate me? I don't know. First of all, you have more subscribers than me, so they mustn't hate you. And secondly, I don't know. I mean, you have pretty good content. I mean, nothing offensive, nothing horrible. I don't know. Um, number two, what type of Lego movie would you want to see? Hey, for example, Lego Pirates, Lego Fast and Furious, stuff like that. Keep up the good work, my man. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Lego movies are now owned by Universal. They used to be owned by WB, Warner Brothers. So now that you, it's basically only thing from Universal. So they could do like Fast and Furious. They could do Hotel Transylvania, maybe. They could do uh, Jurassic. I would probably want to see, and I've never seen a Fast and Furious film. I just, I don't, I want to, but I just from looking at the trailers, they seem too crazy. And I know I watch Star Wars and Marvel, but, you know, Fast and Furious is more or less in the real world. So. You know, the, the stunts they do is kind of effing crazy. But maybe that, maybe Lego Jurassic Park. They already kind of did that, though. So, I don't know. Uh, if, if, it were, if we're just talking free range here, Lego movies, um, I would definitely say, uh, you know, maybe like, um, I don't know, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, the Lego Star Wars movie would be freaking perfect. Because Star Wars was in the original Lego movie, so they can do that, or they used to be able to do that. 
Uh, so yeah, good questions. Lego movies are my favorite films, animation-wise, and uh, you know I just I love all four to death. Um, I recently rewatched re the Lego movie in theaters with my glasses for the first time, so that was cool. Not just seeing blurs. So yeah, thanks, man. Uh, Recon Trooper, you say people? Okay, this is, this is oh boy. You say people that suit. <laughs> you say that people who say they hate something about Star Wars, example, I hate the sequels, are not real fans, which I agree with. But you do not say the same. But do you say the same if someone says I'm not a fan of something Star Wars, for example, I'm not a fan of the sequels, and Jar Jar Binks, and Rose Tico, and the Ewoks? Yeah, so I don't want to get too much into this because this could really be a whole video, but in my opinion, uh, a real fan of something, let's just say Star Wars, a real fan of Star Wars can like and dislike, right? You know what I mean? Like, I love every... When I say all Star Wars is good, which I firmly believe in, I don't say all Star Wars is objectively perfect because the prequels have problems, the originals have problems, the sequels have a few problems. But I love watching the prequels, you know what I mean? They have a lot of acting and writing problems, but here's the difference. I don't love the prequels, but I don't hate them. You know what I mean? Again, it's like that analogy, uh, your favorite band, you know, uh, Avenged Sevenfold, and they say, oh, what's your favorite song? You say, no, 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 I hate every song except for one or two. Well, then you're not a fan of that band, you're a fan of those two songs, you know? Um, so it's kind of, you know, and then, of course, a fake fan is, quite frankly, hating. You know, the sequels are the worst thing ever, the prequels are the worst thing ever, Disney killed Star Wars, the SJWs, those are just, they're toxic, they're, that's not a real fan, you know what I mean? Real fans can love and dislike, but not hate, because why would a fan hate? You're a fan, you know what I mean? Not a blowing fan, but, you know, you like it. Um, so I think saying, like, you know, I don't like the saying, okay, I'm not a, the biggest fan of the prequels, and I don't really like Rose, I don't really like Ewoks, and I don't really like, you know, I think not liking specific characters, that's all fine. You know, like, I'm not a big fan of Jar Jar Binks, but I don't hate him. I think he's an okay character. You know, the Ewoks, yeah, they're kind of just overpowered teddy bears, but they're still kind of cool. You know, I mean, there isn't a thing in Star Wars I absolutely hate, because I'm a fan of Star Wars. Um, so again, you can dislike things, that's perfectly fine. You know, I dislike the prequels compared to the others, but I don't hate them. There's that difference. Uh, they aren't saying, yeah, so again... Really, it, it just kind of boils down to, uh, you know, hating. If you absolutely hate something, you can't really be... And again, I don't want to be a prick and be like, oh, I speak for every fan ever, but it, it's common sense, you know what I mean? It's just common sense. Um, again, I think all Star Wars is good, but, uh, you know, I do think the prequels have a lot of problems, but I, I don't watch them and go, oh my god! It's so bad, you know, I, I watch it and I love it and I have fun, you know, whatever. Uh, Vince Privatera, rank your favorite to least and why between Universal and Disney Parks. So between Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, Magic Kingdom, Epcot Hollywood, and one of his favorite, Animal Kingdom. So I've been to Universal one time in my whole life, and I really just kind of went there for the Harry Potter land before they did the Hogwarts Express, and it was very kind of uh, the vanilla basic part of that. And uh, I'm going to be honest, in my opinion, I love the Harry Potter stuff because I'm a massive fan of Harry Potter, but I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't really like Universal. I wouldn't really, there's nothing besides Harry Potter to necessitate, 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 No, I don't want to go back. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think there's a reason for me to go back to Universal other than Harry Potter. The stuff that I saw was good, but, you know, it was just like a little kitty cat in the hat ride, or it was like a Hulk thing I didn't go on because I was too young. Just, you know, stuff like that. Nothing that really drew my attention. So, I don't hate Universal, but I don't really have a feeling to go back. Um... Keep it in the wrong thing. And then, uh, so yeah, Disney Parks by, you know, completely overpowered. And I'm not just saying that because I love Disney movies and I love Di I'm love i a massive Disney fan. I'm not just saying that. The Disney, you know, I, I've, I've been to Disney World countless times. I've never been to Land or so I'm speaking for Disney World in Florida. Um, it's just, it, it's otherworldly. Like, it, it's freaking heaven on earth, you know what I mean? Like, one day when I married my wife, whatever, we're going to Florida. Like, it's, before I die... Of old age, presumably, I'm going to freaking Florida to go to Disney World. I'm doing that. I'm living there. Screw it, you know. Because uh, we go for three weeks, and every time I come back, I'm like, dang it, we're home. You know what I mean? Like, poop, I want to be back there. Um, and I, I say the Disney parks are my favorite because they, they're they not just Disney. It, it's the level of attention, detail, care, love, Easter eggs, rides, animatronics, food, smells, sights, everything. And I know Universal has that. But there's just the Disney touch that Universal will never, ever have. And it's just, it's something special. Um, between Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood, Animal, I would probably say Magic Kingdom is my favorite because of the Disney stuff. Uh, and then to probably go Epcot, and then Hollywood, and then Animal. Um, I say Animal's least. I don't hate Animal Kingdom, but I really, when, when you boil down to it besides Pandora, 
Um, Animal Kingdom really basically is just a glorified zoo. I mean, with a few Disney characters in it, and that's it. And it's a it's a good zoo. You know, it beats the Cleveland one, but uh, it really just is a big zoo with a few Disney characters sprinkled in. You know, it doesn't have that Disney magic feel that the other three have. It's not a bad park. We go to it once every year, basically, but, you know, it's, it's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Uh, the Playlist Guy. This is I don't know if I was supposed to be, like, uh, I don't really get offended, because if you say something stupid, I'll block you, but how, uh, I don't know. It says, how old are you? You look like you're 30 and 70 at the same time. I mean, damn, okay. Uh... I'm actually 22. Um, I'm 22, and I know I'm basically effing bald. I can't help that. Um, I'm mad about it, too. Uh, the shortness is probably the 70 thing, and the 30 is probably, I don't know, the balding thing. So it's like a mix of... My height, everything's just so goddamn weird. But, uh, yeah, so I'm 22 years old. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you think I'm that old. I mean, Christ, if I look like I'm 70, I... I don't know, I'm doing something wrong, but uh, I get that all the time. Some people are like, how old are you? You look older. I don't know, it's weird. Um, the Mandalorian, so Din Djarin, you know, pretty good show. You're uh, you're actually uh, responding, so thank you. This is a tough one. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Is there a God? I am Catholic, so I do say, yes, there is a God. Yahweh, Jesus Christ, God, all that stuff. Um, I do believe in that. Again, I don't really want to talk too much politics, too much... Um, Christianity and religion, because I know a lot of people think differently, and it's very heated. Um, but yeah, I'm a Catholic. I believe in God. I think if you need proof, there definitely is a lot of proof out there. I think my religion has the most proof out of any of them. And uh, it, it really, you know, people ask you, oh, well, how do you know there's a God? Well, you don't really. It's all about faith and belief. And, you know, we, we do have proof Jesus lived, right? We have proof of all that. We have proof of, like, Eucharists turning the blood in, like, people's mouths before they convert. So there is stuff out there that proves it. But, yeah. Um, God's real. He's real. Um, like Santa, he's real. Uh, what, uh, SLE Rain, uh, what console do you play on? I forgot to ask because of the Battlefront 2 gameplay. Yeah, so I actually play on Xbox One. I have a PS4, I have a Wii in my basement here, I have a PS2 in my basement here, and then I have, technically I have Lego The Lord of the Rings on my Steam, on my PC, so I got a bunch. But I mainly play on my Xbox One and PS4. I film my gameplay, however, on Xbox One. And then uh, Samurai Cobra, last one, says, Do you think Star Wars, or Lego Star Wars, will be at LegoCon? And what do you think of the release date? And when do you th what do you think we'll get at LegoCon? So, um, I made a video on this. Do I think we'll get Lego Star Wars and Skywalker Saga news at LegoCon? I doubt it, but we don't know. So it's like yes and no. Because these Lego tweets have been so effed up. They're like, yeah, uh, it's a possibility. We'll get some gameplay. And then the other people are like, not, not happening. So, look, as I said in my video, don't get your hopes up. Because if you, if you want to get your hopes up, you're just going to get disappointed again, so don't do that. But uh, do I personally think? No. Will it show up? I don't know. It could. We'll find out in a few days here, and I will cover it. Um, when do you think is the release date? I think the release date is honestly either this fall or uh, sometime next year. These idiots, the marketing is so goddamn bad, I don't think we're going to be getting it in the summer. I think it's either fall, winter, or spring of next year. Uh, and what do you think we'll get at LegoCon in general? I think, well, we're going to be getting some Lego set reveals and some Lego stuff in there. Uh, but there's a lot of good stuff. I think uh, if we're not going to get Lego Star Wars and Skywalker Saga, which again, who knows, um, I'll cover it regardless. Uh, and I will cover Lego Con in general um, after the fact it's over. But I do think that we will get some cool set reveals. You know, I'm, as you can see, I'm a Lego fan. I'm not just a fan of the games and movies and, and TV shows. But uh, no, you know, I think that, I think that we'll get some cool stuff. You know, the first ever Lego Con, I think they're going to hype it up and I think it's going to deliver regardless of this game. So again, that is it, guys. Thank you uh, very much for all the questions. I really enjoyed reading them. I enjoyed, uh, you know, responding to them. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think. You know, if you have any more questions, hey, let me know. You know, maybe I'll do another Q&A in a few months or so down the line as I get more subs. But again, I wanted to do this. I think it's fun to kind of know more about me and just kind of stuff that is regarded by franchises and not. Um, again, if you don't agree with some of these very controversial takes like the religious one, uh, no offense, but don't say anything in the comments. I don't want to start World War III, you know what I mean? Because I'm just going to have to delete you, you know? I'll take an opposite opinion, but toxicity and just being rude, I won't take that. So I don't want any of that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I really had fun doing this, and uh, I love doing these, man. They're really freaking fun. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.